everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Hello everybody, welcome back to Team Recorder. Today, against my better judgement, I am going to be giving John, this is my husband, a recorder lesson. Oh, oh yeah, can you move out of the shot? Before we get into the video, the winners of the Eric Bosscraft CD giveaway have now been made known. I'm announcing it today on my Twitter and Instagram. Here is my username. Psych, just kidding, it's me, I win them all. Ha ha ha, because I live here. Each of the five winners will receive one CD. I'm DMing all of you here on YouTube as well. Congratulations, I hope you enjoy. John had recorded lessons as a child, but since stopped, hasn't played for a long time, but plays other instruments and is now coming back to the recorder. This is something that a lot of you are doing, so I thought you'd actually be... <laughs> It'd actually be a good subject for a video. John is also a professional musician. He plays saxophone and clarinet and plays in a group called Slapstick. You can see them in the link below. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I'm excited. John, yeah. what are you going to play for us today? Oh, I'm going to play Bure by John Sebastian Betch. <laughs> Which means in the French, butter. <laughs> the song Butter by John Sebastian Batch. Uh, so when you go to a lesson, it's good to know a little bit about the piece beforehand. So John, can you tell us when this piece is from and what context it was composed in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's written in 1715. Okay, good. Yeah. Old Batch was there, <laughs> buttering his breakfast toast. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, this, <laughs> Really off to a really good start. Um, contrary to John's opinion, bourre does not mean butter, but it's actually a kind of baroque dance. This is from his suite for lute. Um, oh god! <laughs> How about we just play? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll play the bass line. I'll bring you in with one, two, ba ba ba. jump on straight away is something that I see all the time from clarinet, saxophone, flute players coming over to the recorder and that is mistranslating fingerings. Yeah, I do a lot. <laughs> yeah. Can you play the D sharp for me? Yeah, no. So D sharp should be with no thumb, no first finger, but then two, three, four, five, six. That's in tune, it has a nice sound colour. Yeah. Of course it's not as easy as all that, I don't think you'll be playing that D sharp perfectly now just because I've said it once. I will. <laughs> so I'm going to give you an exercise to practice this. Okay. We're just going to try improvising on those two notes, making up rhythms as we go along, taking it in turns. Give it a go! Is there a better way to play B, C sharp? You want to avoid this kind of finger flapping back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Or is that just a matter of practice? B to C sharp is awkward indeed because you're swapping yeah. two fingers back and forth. Flappy fingers. Flappy fingers. If you don't do it at the same time you get B to C sharp has a very easy cheat and that is just lifting up your first oh, finger. Look at that. Yeah, that's way easier. But I don't know if it's going to make it easier when you put the D sharp afterwards. So for a trill, you could do a... This context, I would say, um, use the normal C sharp. So to practice this, I would take just the fingers, not blowing, not tonguing or anything, but just really feeling 
the B and the C sharp going back and forth between each other and when you're confident add some air. <laughs> subject of notes, let's have a look at these high notes in the second section. Let's play from this high section but slowly. Okay. I don't, know how to, I don't know how, I don't know what high B is. Ah, okay. That's something I can teach you quite quickly. High B is the thumb half. Mm -hmm. Fingers one, two, four, five. For this you're hitting a higher register, so you need to blow a very thin, fast stream of air. The higher you play, the smaller the thumb hole opening should be. Beautiful. The sound is beautiful. Mm. You are doing something that I see a lot, especially in adult players who are proficient on other instruments. You're practicing far too fast. For this reason, it can be good to get a metronome, set it way slower than you would play the piece and really stick to it. Um, otherwise you'll be rushing. The last thing, we're gonna add a bit of articulation. Can you remember what the function of this piece would be? Butter that bread, butter, butter, bread, bread, butter, butter, boo, ray, boo, it, boo. It's a dance, so we want to be kind of light and dancey. Yes, this is what dancing is, apparently. Let's play the first section together, and as an experiment, we're going to make it very staccato and sprightly. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Try playing it through staccato, then legato, then doing a mixture, trying out lots of different things, and in that way you can find what you like. The last thing we're going to look at are these trills. Can we play these two bars here, the last two bars of the first section? The trill was beautifully agile, but if we're going to be really stylistic, I want you to start on the upper note. Trills are made up of two notes. And in the Baroque, we begin on the upper of the two. Very nice. The last thing I'm really detailing now is that you're double dotting it. What's written is... Could we try that once? Oh, yeah. What do you prefer, the rhythm as written or giving it a bit of a double dot? Double dot? Okay, double I'm dot. I'm a double daughter. You're a double daughter. You didn't know I'm a double daughter. That was in the marriage contract. Let's play this last phrase together and I want you to put everything in that we've worked on. The supported breath, the correct D sharps, shaping with staccato and legato, the trill on the upper note and bring it, bringing it to a close without the tempo dragging. Have yeah. you got all of that? Got it, yeah. Okay. Uh, from here. Yeah. video uh, on giving my husband John a recorder lesson. I'd like to reiterate that I don't always have this dynamic with my students. Obviously I act in a much more professional manner but I hope that some of these tips I was giving him help you. Click the link, do 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 another link, D. Do 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 click it here. Do 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 Okay, that was everything. Team recorder, Sarah Jeffrey. That's the sound their baby makes.